Hi guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. So, long time no talk. I'm totally aware of that, and I'm so sorry the last few videos have just been voiceovers with no intro, no outro, but I kind of kept forgetting to film those, and then the last one I did, I was like, okay, film an intro, film an outro, and then I thought I did, but then when I went back and looked at my footage, there was nothing, so I'm super, super sorry about that. I know I've been so slacking on YouTube. I apologize. I've just been super busy, super overwhelmed. I have filmed videos, but I don't like how they come out, so I'm hoping I will be okay with this one. We shall see, and if you guys are seeing this, then that means I was okay with it. But anyways, um, let me just show you guys because I have it on my phone. This video, obviously by the title, is going to be more about color correcting. So color correcting is like all the trend right now. It's what everyone on Instagram is doing. Everybody on YouTube, everybody is like just color correcting like crazy. Last year was the year of contouring highlighting, which I will always do contouring highlighting. That's like not tried and true, but color correcting, super fun, super different. Um, by the way, if you're not into color correcting and you don't give a damn about color correcting, then just please don't watch this and like write in the comments, I don't need it. Um, you guys, like right now my skin, you can see my skin, but um, my camera has like filters. I filter my camera to make my skin look better. So this isn't like, you're not looking at my actual skin. Keep that in mind, like I'll zoom you guys in and show you real quick. Like my forehead isn't perfect. I have a smoothing filter on me. Um, my skin, I have redness all around my cheeks. So just kind of keep that in mind that I do have problem skin. And while a lot of you, sorry, while a lot of you guys think my skin is perfect, it's honestly not. So keep that in mind. Um, I'm just going to show you guys a few things on my Instagram account. Um, which by the way, if you don't follow me on Instagram, it's the same as my YouTube name. So, uh, these are some color correcting videos I have done. Uh, one girl requested me to do like an in-depth one, so that's what I'm going to be doing. I am going to be using the NYX Color Correcting and Conceal Palette. Now, I will pull out my other color correctors and kind of talk to you guys about them, but by far, I've just been loving this. It is so bomb. Like I was saying, I do have like other brands of color correctors, which I'll show you guys right now. I have a MAC Studio Conceal and Correct, which is like a year old. Um, I have two of the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealers. I have LA Girl Concealers. I have more than just this orange one, but I didn't feel like pulling it out. I have Smashbox, Smashbox. I have Smashbox and I also have L'Oreal. Um, so yeah, these are like the main concealers, color correctors, whatever you want to call them. I use the reason why I love this next one so, so, so much is the fact that everything's just right here. Um, as you guys can see, most color correctors come in like singles, so you're honestly having to like dip into three or four different colors depending on what you want to do. Whereas the next one is all just here. It's a little palette. You take your concealer brush and go. That's why I love this one. I know a lot of people have been complaining to me on Instagram about this palette being way too thick, which I honestly have to completely disagree with. Um, I responded to a few people like letting them know, no, I don't think it's thick. If it's thick for you, then maybe you need to like change what you're doing, maybe use less. But no, no, no. This palette is not super thick. Trust me when I say I have used thick concealers and thick color correctors to know that this is not thick and it is very creamy. People have been telling me they have the hardest time blending it out and once again, you just might not be blending it out the right way, which I totally get because when I first started color correcting, I didn't know what the hell I was doing and I honestly had to practice over and over and over and over again, which kind of leads me to my next point about color correcting. If this is like your first or like second time color correcting or you've never done it because you don't know what the hell to do, then make sure you're not going anywhere or you don't have like a full day planned. I say that because color correcting is super easy to mess up and if you don't do it right, you're gonna look like shit. And I mean, excuse my language, but I've done that to me before where I went in, where is it? I went in with the LA Girl Orange Concealer all under here and like all over here thinking that it would blend okay and I know how to do it like the first time. And I looked so disgusting. I, oh my God, it was terrible. So 
trust me when I say that if you are going to like an event or you have a day planned, then please, if you don't know how to color correct, don't do it because you're going to regret it. Um, so yeah, that's why I just kind of want to make this video. Uh, this is the NYX palette that I'm going to be using today. It retails for $11.99 at like any drugstore. Um, I got a little Ofra mirror in front of me. It's the eye mirror. It's so cute. So I, that's why I'm going to be looking down most of these to the pink beige and like the salmon-y color. So the salmon and pink is going to help brighten and conceal um, dark circles. So I like to go in underneath my eyes like this. Just like that. And I like to kind of build it a little bit. By the way, I did apply primer. Um, I just didn't do it on camera. I used my Clinique Moisturizer, Smashbox, Primer Water, and Benefit Professional Gel. So I'm also going to go in on this side with those same two salmon colors and like pink brighter colors. This is really going to help Brian. I love this stuff. Alright, so now that that's on, I like to just wipe my brush off on some cleaner and on my towel in front of me. And then the next color I usually go in with is this green minty color. So green mint is gonna help take away redness in your face. So usually where I put the green is around my nose because my nose is super red. This stuff is really pigmented. You don't need a ton of it. But if you have like rosacea or super red skin, then you might need like a little bit more than I'm using. But I like putting this around my nose area because obviously, like I said, that's where I get super red. The reason why I'm using a concealer brush is because I love the way this, by the way, this is a MAC 195. I love the way the MAC 195 like just blends everything and it makes it look really, really good. And now I'm going to be taking this purple lavender color. Purple is meant to like just help brighten and take away any sallowness that you might have in your face. And that's why I put it on my cheeks. My cheeks are a little bit red and a little bit solid. They don't have too much life to them. So I like to just go in like this and just slowly drag it. I only dab my brush in once. And as you can see, it's definitely covering enough. So I don't think I'm gonna go back in with any more, but just so you guys are aware, like that. And then same thing on this side of it. Those three colors are on. I'm gonna be taking the yellow color. This is shade one in the palette. They don't have names, by the way. And yellow helps brighten. Now yellow is more for like medium to deep skin tones, but I like to just put a little bit yellow. Um, not too much. If you're my skin tone, then put about the same as me. If you have medium to deeper skin tones, do double the amount of yellow, because it's really gonna help brighten for you. And I like to put a little bit of yellow underneath my eyes. And I only take the yellow once, because like I said, it doesn't and then I'm dabbing back into the yellow. And I like to go on top of the green, a little bit on my nose. And then I like to take a little more yellow and I like to do this to just help brighten my face. Just like that. All right, so that's usually all I do for color correcting. Um, nothing too crazy. So blending this stuff out. Um, that's probably like the biggest question I got. How do I blend it? I always blend it with a damn beauty blender. Um, it just blends it really, really nice. Uh, if you don't have a beauty blender, just use like a thin, a synthetic duo fiber. I really wouldn't, or not synthetic duo fiber, I'd use like a synthetic brush. I wouldn't really like um, recommend anything else, but honestly the best thing is a beauty blender. So I just like to dab and I like to start with my eyes and I just, slowly slowly dab and then I'll like work my way like this flare it out into the purple and I kind of just make everything go and mesh together so I'm gonna blend out one side first and then you guys will be able to see like the difference all right and that's like honestly it um, I know you probably can't tell like a huge difference right now, but once like my foundation, concealer, and everything else is on, it does make a difference. Um, I've noticed that. So I'm gonna go in with foundation now. I'm gonna take two. I've never tried this combo together, so I'm really super excited. Um, I'm taking Too Faced Born This Way, and I'm taking the Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation. My Born This Way is in the shade Snow, and my Estee Lauder is in the 1N1.
So I actually wasn't gonna include all this, but I feel like I should just so you guys can see like what I do since I feel like on Instagram it's not super personable, but so the first thing I like to do is go in with Benefit Dandelion Shy Beam. This ish is bomb. Oh my god, so so bomb. It's really good. The only problem is you have to keep dipping in to get product, but um, I'm gonna show you guys to contour and highlight too. So I take this and I first just like flare it out, same thing as like color correcting. Just put it underneath your eyes where you want to look more bright and awake. Now I'm going in with the NYX Wonder Stick. Um, I'm in the shade medium tan. Somebody brought it to my attention that there's two shades. I had no idea. So I'm just gonna take this from the hollows of my cheeks. I like to angle it up a little bit to just lift forehead. That. The nose. Lips. Now I'm taking the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Concealer. You squirt at the top, and then whatever product I squirted on is what I drag down. I'm not adding any product here. I'm literally just taking that one drop I did and spreading it all around and down my face. And I just like to do a little bit up top, which a little on my nose. It work way will make it work blend my foundation or my foundation my concealers i like to use a morphe g2 brush for my concealer and a duo fiber morphe m436 for g contour minerals mineral veil this is just not it's just the plain one has and i just dumped it all over um it's just the plain one it has no spf so no flashback and it's not illuminating so no flashback. Um, I'm just gonna take it on a real Techniques brush. Comes off like not a, and it doesn't taste good. Doesn't come off as bright as I thought. I'm gonna let this bake for a little bit. I'm gonna go do my eye makeup. I'm not gonna show you guys my eye makeup or anything because way too long, and we don't have time for that. So I'm gonna do my eye makeup and I'll. Be Okay, so I just got done with my eye makeup. It looks way better than it's showing on camera, but whatever. Um, I'm gonna just go ahead and do the rest. Taking the Benefit Hula Bronzer and a little Morphe E48. I'm just gonna be bronzing up the skin. Becca Wild Honey. A little of this goes the longest way. It's crazy, so I'm just gonna be applying a touch to my cheeks. Nothing too crazy. I just want like the lightest flush of color. I'm gonna just keep blending everything out and blend everything light. I'm taking Benefit's High Beam. This is like my favorite highlighter of life. that is it for this video um this is what it all looks like when my lips are on when my face is done when my eyes are done and kind of like how you can see like the color correcting difference i don't know i can tell a difference probably because i look at myself every single day they're everything and make everything look even more flawless if that makes any sense at all but it really does balance out your skin tone and make everything more flawless and look more like you have a blank canvas when you start so I really like color correcting I think it's super fun um, like I said I will link everything down below that I kind of talked about in this video and then if you're interested on the eyes I will also link all that stuff down below for you guys I really hope you guys enjoyed this and I will see you guys in my next video if you're new please subscribe don't forget to give this video a thumbs up leave me comments down below and I will see you guys next time. I love you guys. Bye. Guys, oh my god, my top. Like, you can see Mama's tatas. Okay. The first color I usually like to go in with is like a pinky beige color. I like to mix this one with this one. Um, I'm going to zoom you guys in for this part. I just realized and tilt my camera up. Oh, god. My bad. I probably shouldn't have my hands full. And it's up. I need like a shiite load of this to bake my skin. Alright, let's try this. <laughs>